there it is, all chopped up. Everything I just picked from the garden. It is September 1st, and we have so many wood chips. And really, so little we've added to grow, but we still have plenty of food. We have more food than we need, which is perfect, so I don't have to plant anything new, but I am going to start very soon. Hi, it is Robbie from Southern California, and I am just going to do a quick walk through the garden because with the storm we had, we had that tropical storm going through a while back, a while back, what, a week ago. We've, we're still cleaning up from that, but look at the turmeric. Isn't it beautiful? Is this gorgeous? I, I can't get over this. I mean, this last year was all grown in the leaf matter from this pepper tree. Now I've kind of topped it with some more wood chips and more leaf matter, and it's doing fantastic. I think it would be a little bigger if it had more sun, but I have found that the sun is starting to shift. It's getting more sun now that comes through a little bit later in the day, so it's working out okay. This nectarine tree grown by seed, not by me, it just fell on the ground and grew and got moved here, what, three years ago now? This was an amazing tree. I can't wait to see what it's gonna do next year. This year we had about 50 nectarines. Last year, I think there were three or five, three that were successful. This has been great. I don't know what's gonna be with the apple trees, grown from seed, but we'll see. The truck bed, I didn't do anything with. It's all growing from last year, and I've got all those fig leaf gourds growing in there. I do have a watermelon plant in there. I don't know if it's gonna produce anything. I always say the chair garden's my favorite garden. So easy to take care of. I love it, but we've had an issue with it. Do you see what we've had? And I know we probably are still dealing with it. Hornworms. We went nuts. I would come out here and look and look and could not find it. I put a bird bath over there for the Orioles, which are now starting to migrate out. Still, they didn't find it. So I was still dealing with that. And then what I did was come out in the evening and I couldn't find it. And I said to Gary, if we don't find it, we're going to end up with nothing because it ate up. Look at this part of my eggplant. All this, all these leaves here. Can you see this through here? All gone. So what he did the other night, because we couldn't find them, he came out here, what time was it? I think it was like 11 o'clock at night with his light. And sure enough, he found three, three of them. One of them, he said, was so big, he couldn't believe how big it was. So I think it got tossed down the hill somewhere. Hopefully it doesn't find its way back. But the point was it had to go because they demolished, they started to demolish this, they came across and because it touches, it can move around. So there must've been a couple here and then one here, and it was going through and taking all the leaves. Not only the leaves, let me see if I have any tomatoes left. Hmm, I don't think so. Started to eat the tomatoes too, literally, the tomatoes and all. So now we've gotten rid of that problem, and there still might be a couple left, but at least we got rid of, hopefully, some of them to keep the numbers down. Once the numbers are down, then the leaves will grow back and everything will be good because we've got a ton of tomatoes. Oh my gosh. These are sun golds. No, they're not. I was gonna say, you can't be that big. It's coming off of this plant. I don't even know what this one is. This one came up as a volunteer and look how nice and big they are. Here's my sun golds. This is the sun golds, but it became a favorite for the hornworms. So these are just so good. Oh my gosh. Best tasting tomato you can eat. So all in all, I'm still very happy with it. Oh, there's our friendly bee. They're native here now. And the watermelon, I have a funny feeling this is all I'm going to grow this year as far as watermelon. There's one here. I don't know if it will make it. was not a good watermelon year. Last year, I need some greens for lunch. Oh, something's eating it. Probably caterpillars. Last year, I had so many watermelon, I couldn't believe it. They were all over the place. This year, the plants aren't doing good. I think the problem was we've had heat but cooling nights and they don't like the nights cool. So that's what's going on there. See, this is all droopy now because we're really hot. When the sun goes down tonight, all this will be, go back up. It looks like the plants are dying. I don't touch it. Here's a watermelon plant. Oh, this needs to be fixed. I need to get some more water in that because it's bubbling. Hold on, you know what? You're here with me, I'm gonna do that. Hold on, sorry about that. Make sure never let your water touch your plants until you test it. 
because I have checked it. It could be over 100 degrees coming out of there. Let's go ahead and add. This needs a good cleaning, but for now, we'll just add the water. Water brings birds, and when I bring birds, it will bring the birds to eat the caterpillars, and that's how that works. See, now it's running. Just a shoebox with that little round disc there that's running the solar fountains. And then that's pretty much it. Isn't that nice? That has a lot of food. I've gotten so much squash out of there. Now, all my yellow zucchini died back. All those plants are totally gone. They don't last like regular zucchini. The other one is here, and I think this is a regular zucchini. So this one's going to... Uh, yeah, see they're green. This one is probably going to make a comeback. But I have found that the yellow zucchini, the plants don't last as long for me. Oh, I got more peppers. I love these peppers. I've been growing so many. I need tomatoes. I'm going to go in in a minute. And I'm going to make something to eat. And then I'll come back. Let me put it, I'm putting it in my pocket. And then I will come back. Oops, I dropped one. And then I will continue the garden tour because I came out here to grab something to eat. The meadow is okay. It's just dealing with the heat. Look at the moringa up there. And then all this is I've got, there's another zucchini down there. It's a small seedling I put in there. That one finally took off. They're coming back. That's one thing about zucchini plants. It doesn't matter how old the plants are. I've had them grow into their second year. But the yellow zucchini, those are black beauties. They don't do that. Even the cocozelles, I have not had them last. That's potatoes. This is nothing. I didn't do anything. That's the grocery bag sitting there. It still looks growing. Isn't that something? It's a plastic bag with a tomato plant doing okay. I do hope next spring to get a lot of this more organized. Now, this has been great. We had an issue. Had a squirrel come in there and eat everything up. Plants and everything. I showed you that in the last one. Well, they're making a comeback. So I've got Malabar spinach there, but only because of the tool. All the seedlings they chewed up, see all new leaves, but look, I got cucumbers. You know what? I don't have my cutters. I wonder if I can grab a cucumber, because I can use that for lunch too. And I'm gonna use a small cucumber for lunch. I'm gonna make a tuna salad. I'm gonna put in tomatoes, peppers, cucumber, whatever I've got. This is amazing. This plant here is coming out of the yellow bucket. It's broke. So I wrapped where it's broke with tulle. Do you see all this new growth? I have to get that zucchini off. This is last year's plant. Look at that, more zucchini coming down here. That zucchini plant is two years old. No, it's in its second year. Let's put, put it this way. It was planted early last year in March and is, it is now in its second year. So it produced all last year, kind of got small for the winter, and it's made a massive comeback. Could you imagine how big it would be if it didn't break a while ago? It's been fantastic. So I've got another cucumber back there. I don't know if you can see it right there. So that's doing really good. Walking onions through here, that came up on its own. I may cater to that. Gary got all these wood chips. I might fill that up with wood chips and see if that eggplant makes it. And then here we had all this moved because they had to take the tree out and then Gary got the loads in this time. So what I did is I said, don't worry about it. I haven't really planted in there. I've got celery, malabar, spinach, and some tomatoes growing in there, but I didn't plant them. So just move them, whatever happens, happens. So I'm gonna re redo this. And let's walk this way for a minute. Like I said, we're picking up buckets and a lot of stuff, big mess from the big storm we had. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna make, I can take her out right now. I don't need it all in my pocket. I'm gonna go cut up some peppers the purple onions from the garden, those are from Gary's garden. There's that beautiful red pepper. I've been growing a ton of these. And then the tomatoes, makes a really nice salad. You can put it in a sandwich, you can eat it on rice, you can eat it just the way you want. Do I have anything else in my pocket? No, look at it. I picked the squash and I don't know what to do with it. I bring some in, I shred it up, and I didn't get to freeze it. So I can compost that or I can just cut them up and still use them. They're still usable. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Like I said, it's been, it's been a long month, but all in all, everything is good. Look at this tomato plant. Isn't that gorgeous? Everything in here is doing fantastic. I actually saw some monarch caterpillars on here the other day. I don't know if we can see any right now. So I know that they're still producing, but I'm not saving them anymore. What is, it was something A to B. That's probably, uh-oh. Oh, look at ladybugs. 
Baby bugs doing their thing. Isn't that something? So uh, that was probably a spider, but I do know that, and see a spider can eat the monarch caterpillars too when they're tiny. I'm not saving them anymore. I'm gonna let them go by nature. The seeds I am collecting because some of my neighbors want the seeds. So I've been collecting some of these seeds and they fly. And there it goes, up in the air, far, far away. That's the way they spread. Then along here, see that pepper didn't do that well. It's not covered, I have a couple peppers. This one, I covered it completely in tulle and the rabbits don't touch it. Look, I have more. It has been full. I mean, dozens of peppers on that. Tool is a lifesaver for me. If I didn't have tool, I wouldn't have a garden here. Then I've got my zinnia plant that got so big in here. It's leaning. Look at the massive plant, but the flowers are gorgeous. These are the chocolate tomatoes. That's been really good. I might grab a couple of those. And then I've got more of the zucchinis making a comeback. So I've got more zucchini here and walking onions. There's the strawberries. I have been picking strawberries. And look at this tomato plant growing here. You can grow all kinds of stuff. Can you imagine if I staked it? Maybe I should tie it up later. See what happens. That's going to be a black type tomato. Almost looks like a midnight snack. Then I've got my potato mint. That came back on its own. And there's the Malabar spinach. I like Malabar spinach as far as growing. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Keep in mind, what goes up must come down, right? So when that dies back and if that whole wall was covered, you really have to clean it off because it just turns brown. It looks terrible and it's not doing any good up there. So once it grows, right now it's not bad. You're only looking at a few little spindly things, but boy, I'll tell you, when it takes over a wall, you gotta grab it all and pull it down. There's strawberries growing there. There's my place that I can take care of seedlings and stuff under my little gazebo there. Strawberries here, and let's peek around here. And here I'm still growing onions. There's onions there, some wild sunflowers that came up. Look at the zinnias. Is that amazing? Look how big they are. Oh my gosh, I actually collect the seeds as they brown and I toss them around. Is that gorgeous? See, this is gonna have seeds. Not yet, it's still got a little bit of yellow. But once it goes completely brown, Gary had to go somewhere today and he said he saw some beautiful wildflowers and he grabbed some seedlings, the seeds, seed heads. So he wants to plant that. He said it looked like sunflowers, but he wasn't sure and he checked it and there was no tuber. So it was all growing from roots because you could see the old ones from last year and there was no tubers on it. So he grabbed the seed heads. So we'll try some of that. I don't know what it is. I haven't even seen it. He just told me he brought that home and that's it. So I've got my pomegranates. I got too big the plants. I'll have to cut them back. See the totes? They grew over the tote. So maybe in the winter I'll do that. Bottle brush doing good, but no flowers right now. So that's it. I'm going to run in and go make Gary something to eat because he just got back. And then I'm going to come back and I'll finish the garden tour. And maybe I'll start over by the wall. And you know what? I'm going to grab some mustard leaves. I'll add that in. I've been adding in basil. I'm not real big on basil in a salad like this. I'm gonna grab some mustard leaves instead and add it on. I should taste one, make sure they taste okay. Mmm, that is good. I'll add on some more, a couple of them in there. I'll stay away from the basil. Yeah, maybe I'll put one basil leaf in there. And there's rosemary. This is doing really good. And then I've got oregano. Maybe I will add it. I'll grab a little bit of oregano. Then I've got more peppers there growing in there. That's doing, oh my gosh, this is hot because it's gone to seed. Whoa. It'll still be a nice additive to the salad. Just a little bit though. And the fig tree is already growing figs and we'll see how that goes. All right, now let me go in and get his lunch together that he's waiting for. Not much new on the deck. So that's why I haven't done the deck yet, but I do. Oh, my poor celery needs water. It's hot. That's what happens when it's hot. But for now, I'm just gonna use a piece and put that in my salad and I'll get it some water in a few minutes and it'll be fine. There it is, all chopped up. Everything I just picked from the garden, minutes old and so fresh. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of mayonnaise and I'll ask Gary if he wants chicken or tuna and it's ready to go. Well, we've had lunch and I'm gonna go zip around and finish this up. And here I didn't do anything else. I've got tomatoes growing. That was a volunteer that came up there. I'm not sure why this one after the tropical storm came through, why this one browned up, whether it's gonna make it, I don't know, but that one came back. I don't know if any of you saw when the wood chips were brought here, Gary pulled it away and it drooped. With a good watering, it's coming back. I've got walking onions, Malabar spinach. 
So everything here is pretty much the same and really does need loving care, but he's gonna be moving this again because apparently he's getting more wood chips pretty soon. I got the big zucchini off of that one. And then I've got more zucchini there. And then I've got the tomatoes, there's the avocado tree. Okay, let's go in the front yard. Now we're in the front yard. Pile got smaller. He's been slowly moving it. You can now use the driveway. No reason to really go over there. Everything is the same. I'm done with my tomato project. I didn't like the dwarf tomatoes, the rosy tomatoes, so I'm done with that. So let's just keep going through here. I will eventually get to this and figure out exactly what I wanna do. But let him get the wood chips down and then we'll kind of step back. That's gonna be really cool when I get to that. And then what's over here? Let's see. Now the totes, I mean, it's got stuff in there. I didn't put it in there, but it's got uh, this year, I should say. But it still has different types of brassicas growing, which I do use, walking onions. And there's a palm tree in a pot, in a pot, because we can't let that thing go or it will turn out like that. So all in all, and then there's all down there underneath the table, mint and everything. Same stuff you see every month. Maybe I'll do something really different this spring. Now that I know it gets a lot of shade. See, it's getting evening, late afternoon sun now. It gets uh, no morning sun. So I have to think about what I want to plant there. Let's turn around. Look at this. Do you remember this a weeks ago? Now the ginger... You know, it doesn't grow as nice as the turmeric. It really doesn't because it gets the big leaves this way in the stalks, but they're coming. They like the warm night. And then I've got a turmeric here. See the round leaves? But all oh, this is ginger in there. This is all turmeric. Is that cool? And then my stevia is in the back. So I've got stevia there, there, and there. And then this is the black or the blue turmeric. You can always tell by the stripe. But isn't that cool? So I've got plenty of turmeric. I have turmeric everywhere. More turmeric to even plant. And so I'm trying to get it all planted, and eventually I will. I've got the tomatoes. The plant kind of died back a little bit. I think, you know, with the tropical storm, it really did a lot of damage to a lot of plants. And now it's showing because you may not have noticed it, but it was kind of blown in the wind. So it might have broke a little bit or whatever, it kind of got roughed up. So now it's showing its true colors. But all in all, the plant is still good. Look how beautiful the tomatoes are. All right, let's go into the bird garden. Very green, very green for being so hot. This is what I can't wait to start planting. I wanna cut all these off. Look how beautiful it is. This is my tree collard. Now it broke and it's laying on the chair, but see all the straight stems there? Can you see that? Is that not cool? Just chop them off and get them straight in the ground and start growing them. Then I can get rid of that limb. We've got a lot of flowers. I don't know what took. Oh, we do have a lot that took. See how green they are now? That's good. If, they're, if they didn't take, like here's one that didn't take. See the yellow one right there? That flower did not get pollinated. But these got pollinated, that got pollinated. So there's a lot of them throughout now that are green. And green is a good thing. Here's Tommy the tomato. There's one big one. I don't know what happened to the little tomato, but Tommy is a big tomato. So we're gonna get one so far. This has been having tomatoes and this was not done right. I thought it'd be real cute and put in yellow orange and red type tomatoes. Problem is it only should have had one tomato plant. So it's so bushy and big that you have to dig for the tomatoes, which I do when they're ripe. But that was too many tomato plants for one container. So I have to really get in there and start watching for them all. And I do, and when I see them, I pick them, but it was too many. It should have had one tomato plant and I should have done it differently. This spring, I, or maybe later on in the fall, I will do it differently. Look at my lemon verbena. I can't even get back here right now. Oh yeah, I see another big dragon fruit down there. I see another one back there. Oh, they're gonna be all over. Now my zinnias here are pretty much done. See what I do? Then I wonder, oh, why is there zinnias growing? I'm surprised the goldfinches haven't found that. But I toss them around and then they grow. And then here is where I'm still working. I'm going to use my new stands that I use for the solar fountain panels. I'm gonna get them all over and get this up. I've gotta cut my way back there because I have no walkway since the purple tree colored fell. I'm gonna do the same thing as soon as it cools. I'm not gonna work in this heat. It's just too hot, it's ridiculous. But see how they grow when it falls? Here's another one. See the stem fell. 
Oh, the rabbit's chewing on this. And see how it comes up? I'll cut the straight ones and I'll move them. There's a papaya back there. You can't really see it. So I want to be able to get to that. Got red flowers back there. I want to be able to get to those back there and service that. This has been beautiful. And I want to clean up the water fountains and get different ones set up in here. And then let's see what else. Oh, we are out of water. See, it's so hot. I just filled them and the birds come in and they splash so hard. I got to get back in here in a few minutes and get the water going. This, I'm going to gut this. My beautiful plant died back. There's still some branches left and I've been doing cuttings off of it. Going to do something completely different here and that will be really nice. I'm going to move this. I just, like I said, I'm not going to do that much with this heat right now. This is all done. This was just something I washed. So let me move that all the way. And these are going to make it. These are cuttings off of the beautiful brassica I like. Potatoes are coming up there. New potatoes are in there. So we'll see when that grows. Look at this. I could actually just, I'll leave it. The potatoes are in there. And this is a plant I pulled out of a tote. Isn't that gorgeous? It's not really a tree color. It's some sort of hybrid. And then in here I have potatoes. They haven't started yet. You know, thinking about it, being in the 90s and in the 100s, it's still green. It's still growing. Look at that. Here's one I stuck in here. I thought there, it, this wasn't going to make it. And this is growing in the tote. I'm surprised it's still alive. I really am. And it's gotten so big. And there's times it doesn't look good. It needs a lot of water. But all in all, it's doing really good. And this one just fell on the ground. See how it goes around? It just fell. And then it came back up. This could, I could do the same thing. I could just cut it, dig a big hole. I have an auger. I might do that and put it in the ground and whatever happens, happens. Purple tree color that fell over. I'm really trying to clean up. We've had, like I said, there's damage. There's a lemon tree down here that fell down. There's things that got damaged with the storm and that's okay. It'll cool off. And then probably in the middle of September, you know, now that we're in September, it will start to maybe, I don't know. More like October 1st will start to cool off because here in Southern California, our fire season used to be now in the fall. Though we have it all year and any time, it used to be now. I'm sitting on my swing and I'm swinging because my phone told me my battery was dead, which it's almost dead. So I stopped, but it isn't quite dead. Isn't that nice? I have this old swing. I cover it with sheets that I get from the thrift store and I can just sit here and swing away. It's a nice time to do it. I like doing it now. Anyways, let's get up. I've got my four o'clocks there. This, again, was something I wanted to get to and I haven't gotten to, but little by little, you may think stuff has not been taken care of, but it has. That wasn't there before. That was moved here. I'm going to move this. I'm going to set something up around my papayas because they are doing really, oh, finally a flower. I see a flower. I have not had flowers on here. And I thought, oh my gosh, they're not going to grow. Flower's a good sign. And then here I can pot things. I brought some potting soil, which I haven't really done much. But I did do my culantro. Look at this. It's going to seed. Here's another one. And here's a little one. i got to give this to my neighbor. He's going to be excited because he's Puerto Rican. And they grow a lot of it there. I should give him this one. And then here, there's the room. Gary's, oh, look at this. Gary's got stuff in here going and he still needs to get it out. And that bucket down there, I'll show you real quick. That's my turmeric. I've got to get that orange bucket out on the floor. See that? Shame on me. So I still have things in here I have to get out. Let's zip through. Actually, we've done a full circle. Because we came out here. Look at the citrus trees. Aren't they gorgeous? It's just a shame we lost the lemon down there. Maybe. He's not sure if it's going to make a comeback. So we've actually made a full circle. So that's been it. That's pretty good because it really, I haven't done too much. I want to do cuttings off of my beautiful purple plant. Isn't this gorgeous? So this is a purple brassica and it's just gorgeous. Now here it's greened up, but it's funny. Sometimes it goes real purple and then sometimes it goes real green. So anyways, I'm out of breath. It's been a long, long day. And I'm going to go back now and get some stuff going. I want to get some gardening going because now, well, the sun is behind me. It's not down yet. It's just behind the trees. So it looks like we're getting dark, but see, it's behind the pepper trees. So I get a couple hours of extra no sun in this heat and I can get in here and move things and grow something different once in a while. But make sure the thing I'm going to try to push most is to grow things that you want to eat. And I do use a lot of tree colored. I use a lot of lettuce 
and I want to concentrate more on things that we use as everyday use and then start to add in some surprise things like culantro, but concentrate on things that you like. So with that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. So it turned out to be a long day because I went to the vet with Zoe. Zoe got her first checkup today. We've only had her for two days, so I can't tell you much about her. She is a Yorkshire Terrier. She does weigh 0.8 pounds. He told me, take her to the store and go get some toys, which I did. She did not go on the ground or not near anybody. And she got her second shot today and was dewormed. So we'll see as time goes on, what is her personality? But as far as the toys, that worked out really well. She did like the toys that her mama picked out. So that's a good thing. And she didn't mind being carried around in my pocket. Anything but that dreaded crate training, she said. I'll sit in your pocket all day, but don't put me in a crate.